G'day guys, welcome back to the Rugby League Guru Podcast. Today's episode brought to you by Neds. Go and check out their my profile on the Neds app. Follow along with all the bets every single week with myself and the About Even crew on there. Obviously guys, prices are subject to change each and every weekend, in particular these buy rounds. But today's episode brought to you by Neds. We're going to get stuck into a bit of chat about Kieran Foran and his impact on the Gold Coast Titans and why it's such a good signing for another year. Kieran Foran has re-signed with the Gold Coast Titans for another season until the end of 2025. Huge news up there on the Gold Coast for a couple of reasons, which we'll get to soon. But my 5'8", Katmandu, welcome in. How are we? I'm very good. I'm very good. I'm so excited about this news. It is exciting. I'm really happy about this news. Yeah, I love Kieran Foran. He's been a champion of our game for so long. He's been around for such a long time, uh, and just one of the good guys in rugby league as well. He's had his he's had his dark times and had his times that he struggled, but he's always been very outspoken. He does a lot of, of for, for like mental health in rugby league mm-hmm. as well. He's had a very tough trot this year as well. Kieran Foran and his family, and they're they're, they're just good people. And I'm uh, I think it's a really good fit up there. You've got some quotes from the Titans press release from Kieran Foran. I do. What's he got to say? I do. Well, I love the title, Not Done Yet. So good. For and to play with the Titans in 25. So as you alluded to, he signed that extension into 2025. So he'll be playing with them next season. He's on track for a 300-game milestone as well, which is really impressive. But I think the the real standout comment from here here from him here is that he said, we've got a great group, a great young group here at the Titans. 2025 will be his second year under Des Hazel's coaching and he said that he's really keen to be involved in what they're building. Yeah, and I think that's the big thing that stands out for me here. Obviously, Foz, he's 33 years old. He's had a number of injuries throughout his career. How close is he to 300 games? That's incredible considering the amount of injuries he's had. I'm just getting it up here. If he gets – wow, he's at 295 games. That yeah. is unbelievable. They said that he's on track to reach 300 NRL games by the twenty round 24. Wow. Yeah. That's incredible. For him, I, I, when you said that, I assumed, okay, maybe he's 20 or 30 away. Mm. For him to be five games away, like, yeah. Kat, I, I, I don't know how, how much you remember of his early career, how into rugby league you were then, but, like, he, he played so tough and there was four or five years where it just felt like Foz mm. couldn't get on the field. I remember when clubs were signing him, people were laughing at them going, mate, mm. the bloke can't stay fit. For him to get to 300, uh, it is an unbelievably and good effort. first to do it in a Titans kit as well. Fuck, that's special. That's unreal. Shout out to Foz. That is great. Um, So, yeah, as the quote there said, obviously they've got a young group. And when you have a look at this Titan side with, you know, I I know we look at AJ Brimson and go, oh, you know, he's been around for a long time. Like he's only 25, AJ Brimson. Like he's one of the more mature guys in this side, but he is still quite young. And especially when you talk about like him as a fullback, like you tend not to see these guys play their best footy until their Mm -hmm. mid-20s. So AJ Brimson, you've obviously got Jaden Campbell, Tanner Boyd, you've got Carter Gordon, a arriving from the Wallabies as well. So a lot of young guys there, and I think Foz is going to be incredibly important. Even Tanner Boyd, still quite young. His development probably hasn't been perfect. But I think the big point to take out of it, Kat, is that you've got Des Hasler arriving there. Mm -hmm. Um, And look, I know it's a little bit different now, but if you look back 10 weeks ago, we were all sitting here going, my God, Des Hasler's having no effect on these Titans. Mm. They are they, they, they look like that actually got worse. And you're starting now to see the, the Hasler effect starting to kick into gear. And for me, I think it's really important and sometimes a bit of an underrated thing when it comes to coaches and key senior players that you've got Des who, you know, he's been a coach for a long time. He's from the older generation of coaches. And the link between him and, you know, these young guys that he's coaching, I imagine that would be difficult at times, especially yeah. just arriving. Yeah. But the beauty of it is that he has Kieran Foran as his link man. And you quite often hear great coaches talk that they have these guys. Wayne Bennett, he obviously has your Jesse Bromwiches, your Felice Cafusis, these sort of guys as his link men yeah. to the younger teams. I remember when Ricky Stewart won the comp uh, in 2002 at the Roosters. Like, because he was such a young coach, he he had to be careful how it, uh, how like matey and friendy he was with the teams mm. and everything. So he would have Brad Fittler as his link man to sort of you know s- spread his message to the team and help him out and whatnot. And I think it's a I think just that extra year of having Foz. And to be honest with you, I think next year, if Foz was to be injured and didn't play a single game, I still think it'd be a really good signing. 
Mm. Just to have Kieran Foran in the playing group on game day, you've got Carter Gordon who's coming over from Union. He's got to learn rugby league and whatnot. From what I've gathered talking to people, they reckon he will be quite good uh, as a league player. I'm not totally convinced, but I'm very confident in saying he will be better for having Kieran Foran in his corner. And just in general, you have a look at this Titan squad. It's a young squad all the way through. Mm. There's not too many old heads. There's Isaac Liu outside of him. It's not like even Tino, Tino's young, Fafita's young, all these – and their outside backs are quite young. Uh, I, I think Kieran Foran is such an important part of this side and I think that if, you know, one of these halves goes on to really kick on over the next few years, I think you can put it down to the time they've spent with Kieran Foran. The thing that I love about Foz too, and we sort of spoke about it a, a little bit earlier, Kat, like – he came into the NRL. He came into that stacked manly side. I think people sometimes forget that him and Chez, they won a premiership together as 21-year-olds. Yeah. Like it is just – it's uh, like if if any NRL team goes into a season with two 21-year-old halfbacks nowadays, I go, fuck, not a hope in Yeah, hell. not a hope. You're not going to be able to do it. For them to come into that side and for them to – and I think when you go back and watch that side, like – they weren't just getting participation awards. They were the halfback and 5'8". They were dictating terms. They were telling Glenn Stewart, Jamie Lyon, Brett Stewart, all these great players where to be, how they wanted to play, et cetera, et cetera. Foz has been at the absolute highs. He's played for mm. the Kiwis. He's captained the Kiwis. I think he captained the Kiwis when he was like 22. Unbelievable. Um but then he's also been through the worst times in rugby league. He's won wooden spoons. He's had captaincy stripped off him. He's had to take months away from the game just to sort out his mental health. He's had season-ending injuries. He's been from club to club to club. He's been the scapegoat at club. He's been the hero at clubs. As far as experiences go, Foz couldn't have had any more. And I think one thing that's forgotten with Kieran Foran as well, when you go back and have a look at like him when he was coming through the grades and SG ball and all that, he was a centre. Mm. He only moved to 5'8 a year or so before he made it into first grade and within two years he won a premiership at 5'8 and has, uh, you know, as halves tend to do, he, he was a ball running 5'8, tough as nails. He really changed the way the game, the game was played to some extent, Kieran Foran. Um, now to develop, like I look at him and go, he's an out-and-out -out halfback and I think more and more we're seeing, Cap, the importance of guys like the Roosters just went inside Chan in the other day. Mm. It went, why? Well, he's not playing his best footy. But between the years, he's seen it all. Yeah. And those guys can be so important. And I just think Foz staying there for another year, once again, even if he doesn't play a game, I just think having him around the club, I think there's just so many positives in this one, Kat. I think something we see time and time again is that, that you need that, that older – you need the older and experienced player on these sides – that knowledge that they have, their resilience, and like you said, they've seen it all. Nothing is a surprise. Just heard something. As the fall. studio starts to fall on <laughs> itself. So it's an earthquake. Uh, you, it's what DCA does for Manly and it's what Kieran Foran does for the Titans. They've seen it all. Yeah. They, are, they, they bring so much experience to the table and they teach the young guys a lot. Yeah, and I, I think you can never undervalue how important it is to have that older head mature guy who's almost a coach on field as well. Yeah. Like I, I'm sure there would be times where they would walk into the change room at half time or whatever and like as the coach says he has, I reckon there would be times where you'd almost just hand the floor to Kieran Foran. He knows oh, yeah. what's going on. He's oh, seen yeah. it all before um, and they, they just need to follow his lead. And then he has games like the other night where he scores the first try, he sets up the other try in a game, they win by six points, they only scored three tries. Like he's just such an important player, Kieran Foran, and I think this club has done so well to get this guy. They dragged him away from the Manly Seagulls, which was a huge thing for Kieran Foran to do, a huge play. He could have happily, I would imagine, round out his career. I really thought he there. would. I really thought he would finish his career and retire with the Manly Seagulls. Isn't it funny when you look at it? Like the reason why they did that was because they had Josh Schuster. And how that's and then played look at out them now, yeah. And now you got Jamie Humphreys, who's reportedly going to the South Senior Abbotts, like a real sliding door. They've they've got Brooksy, obviously, which has been great, but it would have been great to see Foz end his career at the Manly Seagulls. But yeah. I think for the sake of the NRL, I think that Foz finishing at the Gold Coast Titans is better. I, yeah. I think it's a better outcome, and I really do hope with the the key signings. Like I don't think the Titans have ever been in a better position as far as the players they've got, but also the coach they've got. Mm. Got a genuine premiership winner, a guy that has seen it all in Desi Hasler, and you know it was what was that? Twenty eleven, they won that comp yeah, together. Yeah, twenty eleven. That was fifteen years ago. 
It's crazy. Uh, so, yeah, Kieran Foran re-signing with the Gold Coast Titans. Fantastic news for the Titans. Fantastic news for the NRL. Hopefully we see him get to that 300 game mark at some point this year, a little bit later on, and then hopefully he can push into the 325 mark at the end of next season. Fingers crossed he plays every single game because personally I know from when I was growing up, Kieran Foran was one of the halves that – he was just different to everyone else. The way that he straightened up the line, the amount of space he created for the guys outside him, he really did change the game from that little perspective. And I, I'd be very confident in saying, Kat, any halves now that are probably over the age of 28, like your Mitch Moses of the world, your Luke Kearys, I guarantee you they would have studied the way that Kieran Foran played at a young bloke so much mm. because of the way he straightened up the line and the way that he creates space out the back. He was the best at it for a long time. Michael Morgan came in and played a similar brand and now it's just what Kieran Foran was doing 15 years ago that was just unbelievable and, and changed the game a little bit. It's a prerequisite now mm. as a half. You have to be able to straighten up the line. You have to dig in deep. Jacko Hastings, very good at it as well. I guarantee you Jacko would have been studying uh, Kieran Foran when he first came into the game 10 years or so ago. Uh, an incredible player, Kieran Foran. It's been a fantastic career and it's great to see that it's going to go on for another season. What are you really gambling with? For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website 